Mike Davis and uh, live here in Georgetown, New York. And we're just moving back from Sherburn, back to the home farm. I've got a 90 cow dairy farm. I've been doing uh, custom cutting since 2004. Basically bought a mill just to do our own house remodel job. That's kind of how we got started and we cut stuff for ourselves and what do you know, people start stopping and want to know if you can cut stuff. I have plenty of work to do on the farm. You know, that's kind of everybody's, that's kind of a full-time job, but it works out good for me on this note because I'm, it's all here and that's why I started hauling logs in and doing more custom work because it allowed me to be home so we have an issue with a dairy farm or whatever, I can go deal with that and then come back to this. I kind of have a passion for one and love the other. Um, I don't really know which one is which one is which at any given time, but the, the sawmill business for me is, is kind of a second secondary business for me. I really just do it because I really enjoy it and it's some extra income for me. Yes, I would say it's got some advantages for me on, on this note. Uh, we have tractors and stuff available on the farm, so it's not like it's a separate input expense for me, you know, because you, you can't pick up a log by hand when they get too big, you know. But And there's, you know, extra space on the farms. So you can kind of, at least, you know, if I put a shed on that barn, I can I can put some lumber storage there or, or whatever. So there's, there's a little bit of a washing each other's hands, you know, with that type of thing. And I am primarily marketed with uh, word of mouth. I had really had no advertisements or anything that I've put out. And uh, there's definitely niche markets. And if you can find something in it that really works out good for you. For instance, mine, you know, I have 40 foot of track here. So we have capability of cutting up to, you know, 35 foot timber right now. This mill is all homemade. I kind of had a few ideas from different other mills I've seen. Knew what I wanted to do, what I was looking to do, and kind of made the machine to fit. My advice for somebody trying to get into this, on a final note, would be kind of uh, do what you can with it. Find something in it that you're really part of it, you really enjoy, you think you're good at. 